All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, man. Look, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. I've switched over to Xbox and I'm having a ball. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But first, I need y'all to give me one for the money, two for the base, three to get ready, and four times for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA. Fresh from the barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Check it out, man. Own your shot. One of the hey, look, man. This joint here, five, man. This one of the. I, I don't know if it's up in the store yet, but if it's not, it's gonna be up there by the time we get done with this, man. We got it in tanks, tees, all that stuff. Check it out. Link is down in the description. Breeze tees. That's where I do. I, we do our own merch, man. If you order something, then you should be getting it um in the next couple of days, man. Let me turn this light on, man, so y'all can see my beautiful face, man. And uh, we're going to get right into it, man. Best badges for shooters, big men, all this stuff, man. Look, man, I'm going to tell y'all what the best badges are. We're going to go down, and then we're just going to get it right, man. Look, this is the best badge setup that you can get for shooting. I'm going to go through. I'm going to explain, and then we're going to go from there, man. Look, catch and shoot. This is one of the most important badges that you can get. The reason that I say catch and shoot is the best and you can put it on, look, you can put it on gold if you like to. I prefer to have it on Hall of Fame. I feel like when I get, when I put my catch and shoot on Hall of Fame, it normalizes my catch. So each shot that you have has two speeds. So quick speed and then it's the, um, it's the, it's the, uh, it's the slow one. I feel like when I have catch and shoot on Hall of Fame, it normalizes it and I get the slower catch more often and when I do get the quick one I can still handle it it boosts my shot just like that second of all you gonna you, hey look you know we sit in the corner around here man and we, we, we sit and you're gonna see that in the video coming up corner specialist you know you in the corner bro you need corner specialists on man that's just it I don't have a high shot and I think my shooting is like 70 I'll show you that in a second you know you gotta have a quick draw on goal or Hall of Fame whatever you like I prefer goal you know mama say go I'm gonna put on goal range extender this is a debatable badge. If you're a corner center, you don't even need, really need range extender. I would put the other stuff on first. But if you plan on shooting from the top, you're gonna need range extender. Range extender doesn't pop in the corner, but it does pop in the short corner. So I don't I don't understand why that is, but I put I put this on last. This is the last badge. The essential badges that you're gonna need if you're a corner center, you got a low three, catch and shoot, corner specialist, hot zone hunter. You gotta have those, and plus you gotta have your quick draw on just so you can get your jump shot off. So I would go quick draw first. Then you want to put one on catch and shoot, corner specialist, and then hot zone hunter. And then get your catch and shoot and your corner specialist up, then you put the hot zone on top of it. Dead eye on bronze. Why do you put dead eye on bronze? Because 99% of the time, the people that you're going to be playing against are going to be other centers. And unlike us, Y'all, I know, I know everybody in here did what I did, man. Okay, so you're a center like me. Your perimeter defense is high. You got 67. When I get the, uh, when I get this guy up to like uh, a few more, he's gonna have a 70 perimeter defense. That's higher than some guards and some other guys out there. And we're gonna have like 95 interior defense, man. It's gonna be dope. So that's why I do what I do. Because sometimes you get stuck on the perimeter. I cannot defend a, a guard on the perimeter, but he can't just shoot in my face either. And like I said, when I get to, uh, so this is 96, 97, 98, uh, 98, 99 area, um, well, 97, 98, 99. I should be able to keep it at 99 or what have you, man. So, and not 99.9. .9. So this should be fine right here, man. I should, I, I, you already can't just shoot in my guy's face. So I think 60 is the threshold, but 70 just gives you that extra ump. But like I said, man, you're going to be shooting against centers. Most centers that you shoot against, they're gonna be uh they're gonna have very low perimeter defense, man. So it's not even gonna matter. Like you're just gonna be able to just shoot right over them, shoot right in their face. Guards gonna try to get out there and try to try to contest all that good stuff. Now look, the reason that I say, the reason that I'm telling you that I prefer to use corner specialists first, because corner specialists is gonna give you your hot zone. And I say this all the time. It's going to give you the hot zone from right here all the way up to here. So look, boom. Look, that's a hot zone. Now, if I had on my range extender, actually, I don't even need range extender on the bed to hit that. I just got to time that right. But you got your hot zone all the way up to here. You should be able to green it. If you practice that shot enough, you should be able to green from there all the way up and, and, and just be 
just be goaded out here shooting the basketball. I shoot the ball. Somebody was asking the other day, do I, uh, the Brutus Sam have Dimer uh, on? Bro, he shoot, he, he got me out there, bro. I'm shooting no, I shoot no Dimer and no, um, I'm shooting with no Dimer and no, uh, no floor general. It's just like what I'm doing, I'm just doing it on my own recognizance, man. You got to be able to just shoot the ball because those guys need their badges too, just like I need my badges to shoot. Look, I get to choose my badges. I get to choose my badges. They have to choose there. I got I to gotta pay attention so I can shoot some greens out here, man. But that's the thing, man. So, Hot Zone Hunter. You need, to me, Hot Zone Hunter, gives, it's like the pepper on it. It gives you that little extra oomph so you can just hit consistently. And plus, I'm talking while I'm doing this, man. But you can hit consistently from right here with, with that. You just got to be concentrating. And for some reason, I don't understand why I shoot way better in the park, I mean, in the wreck than I do in the park. Don't ask me why, man. I just be out there throwing it up in the wreck and like, I'm, I'm just, I just really don't miss in the wreck. In park, man, it, it's felt, the last couple of days, park has felt kind of weird. Like, like I'm timing my jump shot and it's just like, it's always early, always late, stuff like that. I don't know, man, but maybe I, like if I pay attention, obviously I can do it. And I know y'all probably thinking, Jay, that's cap, whatever, what up, bro. I'll show y'all right after this, man. And then we're going to show y'all what, I'll uh, show y'all a quick video, man, and all that good stuff. But look. These badges are the ones that you're going to need, man. Um, why am I bricking so much, man? Hold on. Let me pay attention. Those are the best badges for you, man. And you're going to be able to you're gonna be able to do pretty much anything that you want to if you can hit those. And like I said, I'm talking and doing this at the same time. Hold on one second. Let me, let me show y'all something, man. 2K card, man. Look. This is what I'm shooting. In the park, 56%. In the wreck, 64%, bro. I don't even understand it. Don't ask me why. It just fit. I don't know, man. On PlayStation, I'm shooting higher in the park than, than here. And this will get up to 60% in the next couple of days. But you know, on PlayStation, I'm shooting higher in the park, right? But for, for whatever reason, it just feels like I'm just not... I'm just not as consistent. I just, I guess I just don't feel as comfortable in the park yet. But in wreck, it's just like, I don't know, man. I think it's just like a lot of times in the park, every shot is pressure packed. And in the wreck, it's just like you just out there just having fun most of the time, man. Which the game is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to just be having, let me shoot some damn greens. You're supposed to just be having fun and just playing. But I don't know if it's my control or what, man. But since I came across to the Xbox, like, I'm shooting lights out in the wreck, but in the park, it's just, it's just, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Do y'all shoot better in the wreck than y'all do in the park? I, I have no idea, man. But like I said, it is what it is, man. We'll figure it out. Uh, my, before it's over with, my, my shooting percentage will definitely be up there. But it just, I, I don't know. And like I said, it could be that I just need to come in here and practice. It could be the ridiculous ass suit that I got on or whatever, man. But... Like, I really got to get that thing up over over 60%, which I definitely should because I think I was like 50% the first day, and I just felt like I just couldn't hit shots. And, um, but I didn't have all my badges. Now that I got all my badges, bro, it ain't no, it ain't no excuse. I really need to go back and look. Like, I mean, I'm hitting now that I'm, that I'm actually paying attention, but, and see, that was the second speed right there, but you know, it just is what it is, man. Y'all let me know. Did y'all feel like the part was just funny today? Cause I just felt like it was just super duper funny. Like I just couldn't hit shots the way that I wanted to. And like, or like, is it is it like on, on Xbox, it'll be like one game, everything is cool. Cause like somebody said that uh from court to court, the the latency is different on Xbox. And I'm starting to believe that because on PlayStation, when you go to the park, it don't bother me. And that could be because I got the PlayStation Pro. It definitely could be because I got the PlayStation Pro, right? And so it's always the same. But when I come over here on Xbox, it definitely does feel different from park to park, from court to court. Somebody else get on the damn court and it feels different, bro. Like, I don't I don't know. Like, y'all let me know if that's how y'all feel, man. If you got both of them, PlayStation and Xbox, does, does it feel like the shooting is just more stable on PlayStation than Xbox? It just feel like... I, I don't know. Like, I could get on my PlayStation right now and go play. Play with Team Mills will probably feel like I don't miss all that. And then again, I don't be missing, though. I be wanting to shoot straight greens. The shots go in, but I be wanting to shoot straight greens, bro. I, I don't know, man. It is what it is. But y'all let me know, man. 
Um, do y'all shoot more whites on Xbox and, and more greens on PlayStation? Or do I just need to get used to the to the Xbox latency or whatever? Like right here, I mean, obviously, obviously, like, like if I'm locked in and, and looking at it and like just straight up shooting, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna shoot greens, but like trying to talk to y'all and do this at the same time, it's not, it's just not easy. I guess I just gotta get, I gotta get back used to, used to doing all this stuff, man. I have not been around and uh, I'm cool. I hope y'all guys are staying safe and all of this stuff, man. But I really just want to get my YouTube channel going and so we can do some other stuff. Also, it's Autism Awareness Month, man. Like, look, my son is autistic. I know y'all don't know that, but my little boy is autistic. So this month hits, hits, um, hits home for me. Autism Awareness Month, man. If you know somebody, hey, I was going to say if you know somebody that deal, that's dealing with it or whatever, man, hey, give them some encouragement. Get them, if your kid, if your kid struggles, uh, give them a hug or whatever, man, because our kids are not autistic. They're awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it just is what it is, man. It's like, they can do so much stuff that we can't do, but the only thing is, like, a lot of times they just can't communicate. LJ could read when he was one year old, like, perfect diction. Like, he could read, write, uh, no numbers, letters, all this stuff. He could do all this stuff when he was one. But his communication is just something that just suffers a little bit. Like, he can tell you what he wants, but he doesn't always completely understand what you're asking of him. And so, you know, I know some people, you know, they deal with that. And 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 and, and I just want to say my heart goes out to y'all, man. Y'all keep being the awesome parents y'all are. Keep doing what you're doing. And um, even though I don't think there'll ever be a cure, just because it's a neurological situation and you can't re rebuild or remap neural pathways, just let your child know that they're loved. And, um, and you know, hey, you didn't, you, your child, some, hey, you just got an awesome parent, man. That's what I say, man. Like, some people think it's something wrong with them or this or that. That's like, nah, brother. Like, hey, it just happens. Stuff happens. Those things, I mean, we, it's, it's beyond our control. And the best thing I can do is be an awesome parent to my kid. Because, you know, you probably got some of them out there that they don't, their parents don't understand the situation and they aren't as fortunate to have awesome parents like us. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? Like some of them, they probably think they just bad and they getting getting uh, spanked and stuff. And it's like a spanking is not going to help him, you know, understanding time and helping him get to where he is, you know, get to where he can um, deal with this world and stuff like that. That's what's going to make the situation better. But there ain't no cure because they're not sick. You, does that make sense? There, there'll never be a cure because they're not sick. They're just, they just, it's an affliction. You know what I'm saying? Just like me, I'm a, neur I'm neurotic and, uh, and, and, and I overanalyze things and I'm obsessive compulsive. Like, like I, I want to shoot nothing but greens, but, and I'm obsessed with perfection. Come here, boy. I'm obsessed with perfection, but it just don't happen. But anyway, look, man, this is my baby right here, man. Mm. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. You want to show them what you got for uh yesterday? Where's Where's Stewart? Oh, uh, here you go. This is my baby. I love him to death, here you man. Go. Where's here he? You go. Where's Stewart? It's him. Okay, so what what, what, what you want to show him? What 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 are, which one of your characters you want to show him? I love my baby to death, man. I do everything okay. for him. Come on over here. Let's just talk to the people. There you go. I love my baby. There you go. I love him to death. There you mm -hmm. go. And there you go. And everything we do is for him. And hey. What did we learn about today? We learned about what? Homeschool. Yeah, we learned. We doing homeschool. We really are considering doing homeschool for, uh, full time since we have a, a chance to do a dry run. It's working out really great, and so we fortunate to have it, man. One of the one of the best kids in the world. Anyway, man, I gotta get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is Autism Awareness Month, so I just wanna uh, put that out there, man. Love on your kids, cause that's all we got. They are the future. Can I get a big hug? Love on your kids, cause they, mm, 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 that's all we got. And uh, they are the future. And I'm hollering y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speed. Huh? Hello. Hello. Come here. You want to show them Stuart? And like I said, man, everything I do, I do for this little boy right here, man. Just book it, just to get him a little bit better life. That's it. It's not to get cars. It's not to buy stuff to flex. It's not to be like I get more viewers than the next man. It's just so my boy can have a better life and my wife don't have to work and she can take care of him. <laughs> and that's it.
involved? Yes, you can get Kevin involved. And that's it, man. Make sure y'all leave a like on the video, man. Uh, we will be talking about autism every day this month, man. Um, because it's Autism Awareness Month and we have to spread awareness and just, you know what I'm saying, just we'll do whatever we can for the kids, man, because it's a tough time for them too, man. Love your kids, uh, you know, all that stuff, man. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla. God speak. Ain't no holler. We don't say holler no God more, LJ. We say what we say. God speak. God speak. <laughs>